This is a demonstration I'm gonna recommend you not attempt at home, even if you have the equipment. I'm gonna pour a little bit of water into this paper cup. And then, using some tongs, I'm gonna hold it over an open flame. This feels like a bad idea to a lot of people, but it'll be all right here because the paper cup, even though the bottom is charring a little bit, the paper cup itself can't reach its ignition temperature until the water inside boils off. Since the ignition temperature of this paper is higher than the boiling point of the water, the water gives us a little bit of a buffer where it's not going to be able to catch the paper cup on fire until after that water has boiled out. Even though it looks like it's catching on fire at the bottom, that's just the little rim, the paper underneath the bottom of the cup that's charring and burning away because the bottom of your paper cups don't actually sit on the table. But the cup itself is not catching on fire. If it had, the water would spill out and it can't catch all the way on fire. It can't burn up until that water has all evaporated. The water is buffering it because when something goes through a phase change, it's always gonna stay at the temperature of that phase changing material until the phase change is completed. Every couple seconds, it looks like the cup caught on fire, but it hasn't because we still have water on the inside. I could drop it with the tongs and make a mess, but until that water boils out, the cup itself stays intact and does not catch a flame.